Today marked the groundbreaking of a new $8 million fire station. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to see how it brings together both Roanoke County and city to improve response times in the Bonsac area. When Roanoke County approached Parkway Wesleyan Church pastor Dr. John Ott about selling a piece of his land, he was hesitant. I really never thought I'd sell an inch of it. It, it took a lot for our church to, to, to own this, a lot of sacrifice. But when they told him the need for a new fire station, he couldn't say no. When they shared with me the need, it was so close to our, our own mission that I didn't have a reason good enough to tell the Lord no. Thursday, the county broke ground on that station. It's something that Fire Chief Travis Griffith tells me fills a gap in service for the Bonsac area. Looking at the call data, and, and this kind of put us right in the middle where we needed to be to reach the actual calls and, and to help people in need. The new station will technically be within Roanoke City limits, but services Bonsac. To watch the city and the county work together to make this happen was a breath of fresh air for me. Botetourt County currently helps fill the gaps in the Bonsac area, but when they can't get to a call, Vinton steps in. Griffith says the new station will improve response times. It's progress. It's advancement and it's filling a need. The $8 million station allows firefighters to live comfortably while making getting out the door easier. These modern day fire stations, you have to accommodate for 24 hour a day, seven day a week living. Ott says this fulfills his commitment to his church and community in a new way. That's what we're all about. That's what our mission is. The 12,500 square foot station is set to open in early 2025. In Roanoke County, Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.